What's up guys, Overdog here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about another incentivized testnet. This time it's from Concordex. As usual, all links are in description, but follow them at your own risk. So I got this in my site and I was reading and when I got to this part, I was like, hold on a minute, I already saw that. Because wording is exactly the same as in DX25 incentivized testnet. And also the declared rewards are the same 100,000 USD. So I was like, why it's the same? And it turns out it actually is the same parent company, the Taken's Labs. You go to companies, you can see DX25 here. And they also announced uh, the Concordex. Also, if you haven't watched the video on DX25 incentivized testnet, links can be in the description. It's still ongoing, you can still participate. It literally costs absolutely zero and it's only required for you to do several transactions per day on the testnet, that's it pretty much. And DX25 is built on the Multiverse X blockchain and Concordex is built on Concordium blockchain. And this DEX is primarily focused on institutions uh, which suits the Concordium. The protocol level ID ensures that every wallet is associated with a real world identity that has been verified through a third party ID provider so that people and companies can trust each other while remaining private with zero knowledge proof. With safe transactions, Concordium can unlock a global multi-trillion dollar economy so bankers to regulators actually went to use blockchain. So as far as I understand, one of the main points of this blockchain is to comply with wide array of the regulations which are supposed to bring institutions on board. As for Concordex app itself, it raised 1.5 million in seed rounds from its parent company Skynet Trading, Sierra Capital, Amdex and the Concordium blockchain in December of the last year obviously. And if you want to read more from the press release, uh, link is also in description. And now let's dive into rules of the incentivized testnet itself. So first of all, even though they declare in 100,000 USD, this is going to be in not in stables, but in the CCDX tokens. So again, depending on how TG goes, they're probably going to have the sale. Depending on how all that goes, the actual value is going to fluctuate, obviously, and absolutely the same as it was in DX25. The pool is split into two sub pools and each pool has 50k in rewards. So for the first pool, all you need to do, you need to submit the form and the first 10,000 people who submit the form uh, should get an allocation of extra 5 USD in the tokens uh, once the TG event happens. Pretty much the same as DX25, it's sort of flying under the radar. If you check the Discord, there is 600 people in the Discord and on Twitter just over a thousand people. So based on these numbers, we are nowhere close to 10,000 applications. So this is the form pretty much the same as DX25. First name, last name, uh, email address, then your wallet addresses and some agreements. So before filling the form, you need to set up your wallet. They have a pretty extensive article on how to set up your wallet. If you have any troubles, you can refer to this one. So for the desktop, there is an extension for the Chrome browser. And for the mobile wallet, they're given instructions for the CryptoX via Wallet Connect. But actually, you can probably use the native Concordium wallet as well, especially if you are on iPhone, because as far as I understand, the CryptoX is only for Android at this particular point in time and the mobile wallet of Concordium. It supports both iOS and Android. Here as always, I'm gonna be using the desktop wallet, the Chrome extension. And to set this up, first of all, you need to download it. Head over here, choose the browser wallet, and then you can go to the Chrome store. Then you need to set up a passcode. This is basically the password uh, to gain access to your extension. Then it will give you recovery phrase, uh, 24 words, be sure to write it down, obviously. Then in choose network window, at the beginning, just choose testnet. And then the one thing specific to this blockchain is the identity. So you need to set up your identity. So you select the identity provider. I used uh, this one, Concordium testnet IP. Then you fill this uh, form, basically, where you put the data from your document. And after you did that, you're gonna have this identity card. 
And then what you need to do, you need to create a new account. So you create the account, you link your identity card to that account and boom, you are set up. And then right in the wallet, you can request some native testnet tokens and you're pretty much ready for testing. And if you're using the different wallet for the mobile, there's also the process is outlined here so you can check it out. Now that's just the testnet. On Concordium, it works different than on the majority of other chains. So your accounts on testnet and on mainnet are different, even your wallet address. If I go to my wallet settings, and I go to network settings and I click connect to the main net. And if I go back, there are no accounts here. If I create account, I need to create new identity because that one identity was just for the test net. That's why you don't need to provide any documents. There is like no KYC in place for the main net. The situation is different and KYC is in place indeed. So here you will need to select the provider. I haven't done this one yet. Let's see how long it takes. And I'm back. It took several minutes just to do some photos on your phone and the selfie pretty much standard. Yeah, we need to finish and confirm that your identity has been imported in your wallet. Now we can create account and link the identity here. As you can see, the wallet address is different. So if you want to fill that form registration form, you need to set up both your test nets and your main net accounts. And also one point I forgot to mention is that it takes a couple more minutes uh, for the account to be uh, connected to the, to the network. So once that is finalized, you can start using the wallet. So, okay. Once you set up your wallet, first thing to do obviously is to fill the form. And after you fill the form, you can start doing the actions. Now, what are these again, same as the X 25, the second pool, which is also 50 K in rewards going to be dependent on the amount of experience that you get from the campaign. The swap cost 100 XP, liquidity 250, close position and harvest reward. These are from liquidity uh, pools and then bug reports a thousand experience as well. And also you are capped daily on a thousand experience from your swaps and liquidity transactions. Uh, however, bug reports are excluded from the daily limit. So you can send as many bug reports as you want and you should be properly rewarded for these. And also we have social quests on Zilli. Now the Zilli currently doesn't have any quests, but based on the leaderboard, there were some quests because like people got some amount of experience, but basically just join Zilli and wait for the quest to appear. Because initially on the X25, we also have a very limited amount of quests and then they started adding more and more. And then in terms of the app itself, pretty standard decks, here you connect your wallet, extension, connect, and also check that you're connecting with the testnet account here, because as you can see, it allows me to connect the mainnet account and not even warning me uh, that I connected with the mainnet. So again, in the wallet settings, you can change the network, connect to the testnet. Boom, I'm on my testnet account. And before you start doing transactions here, because even the faucet requires some gas, request testnet tokens uh, in your wallet, and then you start requesting tokens from the native faucet within the DEX. There are tons of different tokens in the faucet, and one mint gives you up to 10,000 tokens. And also one thing to mention here, if you want to see uh, your tokens in the wallet, you have to add them manually. As you can see, every token has an index. For example, this USDT has an index of 4517. So if you open your wallet, you see the list of tokens here. And if you want to add something, you need to click manage and input the index. This is not a contract address. This is index. So for example, for that USDT, we input index, click look. It detects the tether and we can update and boom, this token is now visible in our wallet. As for the operations themselves, like swaps, pools, uh, wrap and wrap, if you're participating in incentivized testnet, you should know your way around these things pretty easily. So that's pretty much all the information I wanted to cover here. Obviously, if you plan to participate, follow them on Twitter, join the discord. 
and also don't forget Zillion from time to time uh, check for the new quests there as always if you have any questions be sure to comment down below thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time